Hey everybody, it's Heidi again. Welcome back to the Spring Meadow Scarf Knit Along at All Free Knitting. In week two, we are going to be doing fern lace in our scarf. It's this beautiful repeating leaf motif pattern that we'll do for just a few repeats for some added texture in our scarf. For the next section of the knit along scarf, we're going to be doing fern lace, which is also sometimes referred to as leaf patterned lace. If you look at our scarf here, you can see that there are leaves staggered throughout this section, forming the leaf pattern where the stitch gets its name. So since we're going to be midway through the scarf, I've just got 33 stitches cast on here because that's how many stitches will already be on your needle for your knit along scarf. And just like with the vine lace, every wrong side row of the fern lace is going to be purled. So I've done my purl row to get this started, just like last time. So row two begins with knit two. Yarn over, slip slip knit, and then knit five. Then we'll do a knit two together. Yarn over and knit one, which will bring, it, bring us back to the first yarn over, which is where the repeat that we do across this row repeats. So yarn over, SSK, knit five, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, and we'll do one more repeat of this pattern for this row. Yarn over, SSK, knit five, knit two together, yarn over, knitting one to finish that repeat, and we'll knit one more after that. So that's the first row. And what we've done with the SSKs and the knit two togethers is, if you look here, the SSKs lean one way and the knit two togethers lean the other. So if you look at the scarf, we are starting to form the outside edges of these leaves as we work our way across. So row three is a wrong side row and is simply purled straight across. All right, now we're at row four, another right side row. And we start this one with knit two once again. So knit two. And then our repeat begins. So we'll yarn over, knit one, slip, slip, knit, knit three, and knit two together. And end that repeat with knit one, yarn over, knit one. Then back at the beginning of that repeat, we'll yarn over, knit one, S, S, K, knit three, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit one. And now we'll do that last repeat of the pattern, starting yarn over, knit one, S, S, K, 
knit three. Knit two together. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, and we'll also end this row with a knit one. And so here, the pattern you might be noticing is that we're doing yarn over, knit one, yarn over for this lovely laddered, L-A-D-D-E-R-E-D, -D -E -E ridge in our leaves, which give it that kind of vein and ridge that leaves have in nature. And instead of knitting five between our SSKs and our knit two togethers, we're knitting three. So we did five stitches, then three stitches. So you can see that we're moving toward a point, which is what will create that leaf effect. So row five, again, a good old wrong side row, will purl across, easy peasy. And now at row six, which is another interesting right side row, we will start by knitting two one more time. We'll yarn over, knit two more, S, S, K, knit just one, and then do the knit two together. And then knit two, yarn over, knit one. And then we'll do that repeat a second time, starting with yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit two together, knit one, plain old knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. Now we have just one more repeat of this row, so yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit, knit one, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, and end the row with knits. And we're continuing to see that decrease toward this half of a leaf point. And now you're seeing more of that laddering forming the ridge on the base of the next leaf. Once again, we'll purl across on our wrong side row, which is row seven. Now we're at row eight. We're just about halfway done with this repeat. But for as many repeats as this lace pattern has, the finished effect is so beautiful and so worth the work. So row eight starts with knit two, yarn over, knit three, and now to form the point of that leaf right here with these three stitches. What we do is slip one stitch, knit the next two stitches together, and then pass that slip stitch over. So right here you'll see we've got a triangle, and now we're gonna do a few more of those across, but this forms the tip of that half leaf of this motif. It's really elegant, the slip, knit two together, pass slip stitch over, and it has a really beautiful textural effect as well. So after that, we're gonna knit three. Yarn over and knit one to finish that first repeat. So there was our slipped knit two stitches together past the slip stitch over. 
then we knit three, did a yarn over, and knit one more. Let's do that again just so you can see how the repeat works. We'll yarn over to begin. We'll knit three stitches. And here's that apex of the triangle. Slip one, knit two stitches together, and pass that slip stitch back over the knit two together. Then knit three, and yarn over, knit one, to finish the second repeat. And there's one triangle, two triangles. Now for that last repeat of row eight, we'll yarn over, knit three, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, knit three, yarn over, and then finish that row with a couple of knit stitches. And now you can see we've got one, two, three top halves of leaves, and then two halves of bottom halves of leaves, and then there's just a couple of eyelets on the side to accent it. If you look at the Spring Meadow scarf itself, you can see right here is where we started the fern lace with our one, two, three triangle tops of leaves and our one, two leaf bases. I just wanted to show you that side by side so you could see it in the Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable yarn. Next is row nine, which is another wrong side row, which means we're purling all the way across again. All right, now we're on row 10. We're more than halfway there, guys. And this is looking so good. So for row 10, we're going to start with knit four. And then we've got to knit two together. And we'll do yarn over, knit one, and another yarn over. And if you'll notice, our two yarn overs are on either side of the apex of that first triangle. Because right here, we're creating the first yarn over, knit one, yarn over that forms the latter base of the next full leaf. So yarn over, knit one, yarn over, S, S, K, two together. So that's an S, S, K. Then we need to knit five. And you'll notice here, after you knit five, that the third stitch, so one, two, three, four, five is what we just knit. The third stitch of that five is lined up right above the center of that ladder from the previous few rows. Just a couple tips to help remind you uh, where to line up your leaves. All right, now we're going to do another repeat of that pattern. So knit two together. and yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Again, we're right above the next triangle. Slip, sip, slip, slip, knit, two stitches together. Knit five, centering that third stitch on top of the ladder below. And then we're about to do our third repeat across row 10. So knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit two together. And instead of ending with knit five, we end with knit four. 
to finish row 10. And we can take a look at our work just to make sure that everything's lining up like it should. So again, look for that yarn over, knit one yarn over above this triangle. Look for the center of those five stitches over the ladder. Another yarn over, knit one yarn over, over that triangle. Five over the ladder, and another yarn over, knit one yarn over, over there. So once again, this should come as no surprise at this point. We're on the wrong side, so that means we're purling straight across for row 11. All right, row 12, which means we're two-thirds of the way there. Getting close. Row 12, we will start by knitting just three stitches. One, two, three. And then we will do a knit two together. And then knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. So knit one and yarn over two times in a row. And then we will knit one, slip, slip, knit. And finish this row's repeat with a knit three. So again, we will knit two together, knit one, yarn over twice, then we will knit one, S, S, K, and end the repeat with a knit three. For that last repeat of row 12, once again we knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, slip, slip, knit, and end with a knit three. So row 12, the way to know you're on track with your repeats is that you'll end the third repeat exactly at the edge of the row. And now this is really where you're starting to see the full leaves form. Remember when I said after the eighth row we've got two sets of ladders forming the base of two leaves? Now you can start to see the curve here and here of each leaf as they start to form. Next. Row 13, purl across one more time. All right, we've only got three rows left of this repeat. We're on row 14 now, which begins with knit two stitches. So knit two, knit two together, knit two more stitches, and now we're at that ladder which you're starting to see form, and we will yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two more stitches, slip, slip, knit, and knit one to finish that first repeat of row 14. Next, we'll do our second repeat. So we'll start by knitting two stitches together, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two,
SSK and knit one. Then we'll have one more repeat of the row. Knit two together, knit two stitches, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two more stitches, slip, slip, knit, knit one, and then end with one more knit on that row. Then row 15 is our last wrong side row of the fern lace repeat. Because it's a 16 row repeat, row 15 is our last wrong side row. And we're going to purl across. All right, now we've come to row 16, the very last row in the fern lace repeat. We've got to do a single knit stitch to start, followed by knit two together. Then we'll knit three stitches. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over for our ladder. We'll knit three. And now, just like in row eight, we're going to be using the next three stitches to form the apex of this leaf. So, we will slip a stitch, knit two stitches together, and pass the slip stitch back over those two stitches we knit together. And now we have that triangle and one whole leaf. Now we'll do the next repeat to form the top of the next leaf. So that means we will knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three more, slip one, knit two together, and pass that slip stitch back over forming the top of the leaf and then we'll do one final repeat, starting with knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three. But instead of finishing the repeat like normal, since we're at the edge, we will end with a slip, slip, knit two together, and an easy knit one. So looking at this swatch, this is all 16 rows of the fern lace, which is the second section of the spring meadow scarf. We've got two full leaves that we formed over the 16 rows, and we've started to form two, one, two, three bases of leaves that if you look at the bottom here at one, two, three tops of leaves, these will line up nicely forming the fern lace or leaf pattern lace that we see in this section of the scarf. So that was how to knit fern lace, the second lace pattern in the spring meadow knit along. Next week we'll have a quick tutorial on how to seamlessly transition from that fern lace into the next section of the scarf. Don't forget to use our official hashtag on social media to share your progress. I'm looking forward to next week.